We're here, Senjuku. Senjuku is home to the Tokyo government office. Lots of train lines meet at the giant terminal here, and Senjuku itself is the location of many giant offices and is a big business district, making it a hub where many people come and go. And most of all, Senjuku is home to Japanese greatest entertainment district. Back in my country, I played a video game about the Japanese Mafia, aka the Yakuza. It was set in a place called Kaya Bukicho. Chu, Chow, Chu, Chow, Chow. I should remember to Chow. Yakuza have set uh, Yakuza have set a unique rules based on duty and empath empathy. Sometimes they have to make unreasonable choices, even though it won't benefit them. That conflict is so cool and awesome. The headquarters of the Yakuza is Kaya Bukicho, where the city glows with neon lights at night. I always wanted to see. I always wanted to see it for myself. I think I know where the Kaira Bukicho is modeled after, but there aren't many Yakuza in Shinjuku these days. What? No way. You should be glad. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't think you'd actually be upset by that. Well, I kind of had the feeling. Games and reality are different, but damn. But still, the city still has lots of charms to it. I'm sure it's just as good as in the game. Okay, then let's go straight to Karabukicho. You really cheer up fast! Hmm. But it's still pretty early. That area really gets started at night. Oh. Now that you mention it, even in the game, it was shown mostly at night with neon lights sparkling. How about we just kill some time around here until then? Where do you want to go? I'll leave it up to you, AoE. AoE guides me to a big game center, which is what they call video game arcades in Japan. Inside, lots of big arcade machines are lined up. The sound of all the video games being played gets me heated up. Yeah, I just love this atmosphere. Ikido, are you good at vi video games? Well, back home I was pretty experienced. Aoi, do you play Versus or something? Sure. Sounds fun. Hmm. Gambling games, fighting games, or... Oh! It always stops in her tracks. She's looking at the crane game machines. Wow. Amazing. There's tons of well-made figures and stuffed animals. The prizes are really well made. Inside one of the machines, there's a stuffed animal of AOE's favorite animal, a tanuki. Of course. AOE, you want that? Oh, nah, uh, not really. It's just, I think it's kind of cute. Aoi's a bad liar. Aoi, let's go versus on this. We'll take turns, and the first one to get it wins. If you're okay with that, then I accept. But I'm warning you, I'm pretty good. Well, I play these quite a bit. Bit, these. Uh, I play these quite a bit back home too. Dun dun dun! <laughs> we do a coin toss, and he only gets to go first. The battle of the Tanukis. <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> this is a good song. I watch over her nervously. Aoi has good reflexes. She might even be able to get it in one shot. Yeah. Aoi puts in a coin and starts the game. 
the way a crane uh, the way a crane game works is simple. You put in a coin, the button the buttons light up. While you hold the first button, the crane moves to the side. When you hold the next button, the arm moves to the back. When you let go, the arm stops in place, and if you position it right, you can pick up the prize. But it's really difficult to do. Oh. Here! Ellie lets go of the first button. With her hand still on the button, she looks around the side of the machine. Aoi, could it be your pro? And you probably will jinx yourself. I told you, I'm pretty good. The human eye is sensitive to side to side movement. On the other hand, dub is harder to distinguish. That's just an undisputed fact of physics. So, when you play a crane game and you're moving the crane backwards, you look from side to side. That's an ironclad rule of crane games. And we let's go. Right on target! The claw opens up and slowly moves down. The claw grabs the stuffed animal's neck. Could this be it? Yes. Alright! Aoi seems confident of her victory. At that moment, the stuffed animal slips from the grip of the claw and falls down. <laughs> that always happens to me too. Sad. What? Why? <laughs> Ikido, the spring in the claw is probably too weak. We should tell the staff to fix it. You can't try and turn back back from the contest now, Ayoi. Now it's my turn. After carefully planning out my attack, I insert the coin. Side alignment set. Depth alignment set. The arms descend. My target is the tag on the stuffed animal. If that loop tag is grabbed, even if the claw is a little weak, it can take the stuffed animal this way. The arm is right on target, just like I aimed, and grabs the tag of the stuffed animal. Got it! But as the crane raises, it swiftly drops. It's. it's uh, it swiftly drops clear out of grass. Why? Why did it fall? Impossible! Oh man, see, I told you, their arm is weak. Damn it. Okay, your turn next, Aoi. <laughs> what? I've had enough. There's no way I can get this. So then you don't mind if I take all the turns from here on? <laughs> You're gonna keep going? It's just a little more. Just a little. Next time, I'm gonna do better. <laughs> wow. Bad start. I know many people whose last words were much like yours. <laughs> Seems like AoE doesn't know. The crank games in my country have much cheaper prizes than in Japan, so there aren't many people who play them seriously. However, one day, just to kill time, I pumped a machine full of coins and realized something amazing. In crane games, once every champ plays, you can see that the claw clamps tighter than usual. I think it's probably to make players convinced they can win and keep trying. I never noticed, but I don't think I'd strategize after playing a crane game. Now that he always given up, that super mode will definitely come up on my turn. Victory's mine! Here goes! Can he do it? Maybe. Side, alignment, set. Depth, alignment, set. The arm descends, once again. Aoi and I watch breathlessly. The call grabs the stuffed animal's tag. Okay, don't fall. Don't jinx it. The stuffed animal is lifted by the claw and barely hangs on. Don't fall. Don't fall. All I can do now is pray. <laughs> the seconds pass at a snail's pace. The Tanuki stuffed animal falls down the parachute. Wow, he actually did it. All right, I shout for joy. <laughs> you did it! You did it! Ikiro, amazing, amazing! 
I can't believe you caught it with that shabby claw! Did you see AoE? This means I win! Yep, you win, Ikuro. Um, you win. A win is a win, right? At some point, 7,000 yen, about, about 70 USD dollars, disappeared from my wallet. I kept thinking, just a bit more. And then before I realized, wow, he spent 70 bucks? Wow. Japanese, Japanese crane games don't have a super mode after all. <sighs> oh well. Here, Aoi. Take it. I hand the Tanuki stuffed animal to Aoi. Why does she have such a confused expression? <laughs> well, you better take it. You spent 70 bucks on it. It's ridiculous. Probably only cost 10 bucks to make any. Spent an extra 60. For me? No, sorry. I can't take it! It belongs to the person who got it! Now, I just wanted to challenge you at something. I didn't actually want the stuffed animal in the first place. If you don't take it, I'll just throw it out. And <laughs> waste 70 bucks. When I say that, AoE hurriedly hugs the stuffed animal. And now her eyes spikle. 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 Sparkle. There we go. Thanks, Ikido! Hmm? Man, that was something. Just seeing you smile was worth the amount it cost me to get that stuffed animal. No, it's not. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> if I don't think that way, I'll never get over it. God damn it! <laughs> oh, and I just realized she has a tanuki on her shirt, too. And a bunch of bananas, for some reason. Anyways... I'm getting kind of hungry. What do you want for lunch? There's a really yummy Kumamoto ramen shop around here. Let's go there! As they always suggested, we visit a ramen restaurant. A delicious smell emanates outside the shop. Man, I can't wait for this! Oh, wait, wait, Ikido! You have to buy a meal ticket first at this shop! As I try to sit down, Aoi grabs me by the nape of my neck. Aoi points to some kind of vending machine. The buttons have different kinds of ramen, and their price is running on them. Wow. So in other words, you buy a ticket at this machine first, and then hand it, hand it in when you order ramen? They don't have meal tickets in your country, Ikido? I never saw this before. It's a pretty interesting system. I put in my coins and tap the Kumamoto Ta Roman button. A purple plastic ticket comes out of the sales slot. I sit down and hand the worker my ticket. I see. This is pretty logical. They don't have to deal with calculating change and try to mistake your order. Maybe we should use this in my country too. He'd probably run like a normal person. <laughs> hey kiddo, you said you like Yakuza video games, right? If you met a real Yakuza, what would you do? While we wait for a ramen, Aoi asked me this question. Hmm. Well... Well, it's an actual choice. Of course, the Of course, the real thing is scary, I'd run right away. Of course. Yakuza are so cool, I'd ask for the his autograph and get beat to a pulp in return. Before lab labeling him as a Yakuza, I'd want to know what kind of person he is. You know, that's a great answer, but... <sighs> Run away s oh, makes you sound like a scaredy cat, though. That's kind of ignorant, I can in my way, but... Don't judge a book by its cover. You never know, he might be a nice guy. Yeah, before leaving him as a Yakuza. Mm. 
The real thing means a real person. So, in that case, before labeling someone as a Yakuza, it's more important to know what kind of kind of person they are. Yes, I got it right. <laughs> For once in my life, I got these choices right. Yeah, I think so too. With everyone at Tomoe Dormitory too, the more I get to know them, the more su surprises day by day. While we talk, the ramen ar arrives. Ikura Tomatsu! The ramen is absolutely delicious! Thick noodles intertwine with the rich pork belly soup and the bittersweet taro, which is pork rib stew, sublimely melts into my mouth. Stop making me hungry. There's no time to talk now! Did you like it? The best! I gotta come here again! We hang out until the sky starts to starts to get dark. Get dark. Get dark. <laughs> we went to a big bookstore. We went up the Tokyo Government Office building on the viewing platform. We took a rest. The Shinju. We're missing word here. We took a rest at the Shinjuku Imperial Garden. Just walking a little bit, you can go from a shopping district to an office filled street to a giant park. Sanjuka really is a city of many faces. If I didn't have Aoi to show me around, I don't think I could have looked around efficiently. And now, the long-awaited. Greetings from Kayabuki Chu! Or Cho. Since I'm bringing someone from another country, I thought maybe the atmosphere of the Golden Guy would be best. Ooh! A bunch of restaurants and bars are lined up on a narrow street. Almost all of them are wooden structures that look like they have a lot of history. They say Golden Guy has lots of old buildings and still has a real Showa, Showa, Showa atmosphere. Showa. That's part of the Japanese calendar, right? I'm learning a lot this game. Right, the periods are counted based on the Emperor's reign. Right now, it's Heisei, 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 Heisei year 26, and the period before this was Showa. I guess this, I guess that's before we were born. Golden Guy really does have a nostalgic feel to it. It's totally different from the city center we were just in. It's amazing that there's a neighborhood like this within just a few minutes walk. I didn't think they had gay bars, but I guess Tokyo really doesn't care, and they accept everyone. That's good. It's an area for bars, but there's a lot of different stores. Sushi shops, yakitori, shops, gay bars, lounge bars, and for some something different, there's even a maid bar. Isn't that just like a tavern? I think of a, like, Ireland tavern or something. Wow. From all these unique places, finding one that suits your taste is the fun part of Golden Guy, is what my grandfather said. Okay, then let's. Okay, then let's go to this place right away. That place is members only. Unless a regular customer refers you, you can't go in. Okay, then this one. So we just come here to look, can't actually buy anything. That sushi place is really expensive. It's probably a bit much for a high schooler's allowance. Okay, okay. Then what about this one? They serve alcohol. We're still y too young for that. Okay, then where should we go? <laughs> Then why are we here? Listen, 
I told you. It's mostly bars around here. This is the entertainment district, so there's no places for kids to hang out. Oh, Damn. You gotta wait until you're grown up. So just enjoy the atmosphere for now. Yeah, that's frustrating. But that's what I gotta do. Man, when I'm old enough, I'm definitely coming back here and getting my revenge. 